Hello, my name is Lajan Bex and welcome to this video on how to clean your flumes. Now, as a sound healer, I'm very uh, fascinated with gongs and I use them a lot in my, in my play, in my work. So, uh, I'm not sure you can see well, but at the moment they're quite um, dirty. They have a lot of dirt on here. What happens when you're playing the gong, the gong needs to be cleaned as well. But from dust, from particles, from sometimes sweat and oil and, and other things that happen in the atmosphere, you're collecting a lot of the dirt and grime and oil and muck that's from a gong, basically. Let alone where you place your flumes, which is very important. If you place them on the floor, you're gonna collect a lot of dust and wherever they are. So whenever you're using and playing with the flumes with your gong, you're gonna create a lot of dirt. And basically, it's, to clean this is very simple. All you need is some hot water from a kettle, um, a plastic tub to um, put them in and clean and the hot water, and um, two uh, scrubs, basically scourers that we get from the kitchen, normal kitchen sponges, which uh, look just like this. So all you need to simply do is start off with, uh, with this one here, this flumey. Just using the scourer on the flumey itself, let's start with this one, and just buffering it up, first of all. Getting rid of any um, major dust or dirt on there. And you can typically see when you are playing that there's a more of a ring around, um, like a darker ring, especially these, these are from a company called TTE Conklang, which are my favorite flumes, they're, they're really, really good. This is the, the Terra version, which is more of a red, but the, I prefer the black ones, I just didn't buy those because working with um, uh, another company at the time which had some black ones, so I didn't want to get interfered. So I use these ones now. And um, I prefer the black ones because they don't show so much uh, dirt and, and wear and tear, but however, the red ones show you a bit more better about what's going on and, and what is um, a, bit, a bit more damaged or has a bit more dirt on there. So just give it a good scrub, dry, first of all. Like so, going all, all the edges. And that basically gives you a much better surface, which is a lot more, isn't so uh, worn down and smooth from all the playing as well, because it just it wears these down as, as well as getting any uh, dirt and d dust particles onto the flume itself. So like so. And then once you've done that, all you do is you put some hot water over the flumey and it just sort of resets the, the rubber in there. Just keep pouring it over, leave it to soak for a bit. And then once that's done, all you need to do is get a um, different uh, scourer and just rub again. Make sure you're getting all the, the dirt off and, and grease because it's, uh, we don't touch the gong when we play. We don't touch it at all because it leaves uh, oil marks and finger marks and it's hard to get off. However, with the flumes, we're often, sometimes we pick them up by here, which isn't always a good idea because then you're transferring any of that dirt to the gong itself. <clears throat> so any of the bits that come off, any loose parts from the scourer, and as you can see, the scourer now is getting a bit more discolored because it's a bit more dirtier. That's why I'm showing you with the, the white one. And once that is clean, it doesn't take very long. You just clean it off with uh, some hot water, give it a shake, and then put it down on a tea towel or a towel to dry, they let it dry naturally. And that's it, it's very simple as that. And that's all you need to do is just taking care of your equipment and your flumies. For me, I do a lot of flumey work, so sometimes some of them do wear down after time. This one now is about three years old and uh, isn't too bad because these are like really dense material, the, the rubber from TTE Conklang, and uh, they don't pop out their sockets of their, of their sticks. They're very, very strong, which is very, very good. Um, but I'm sure another like five years time, this is gonna start wearing down a lot more and I end up buying a new one because I use a lot of flaming work. And this one here is one of my favorites, the blue one. 
So I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, please take care of your equipment and uh, enjoy your gun playing. And I'll speak to you next time.